Hello everybody and welcome to the first of our midweek review videos. Now don't get these confused with our weekly vlog, that'll still be happening on the Saturday, um, but in order to have a look at what we're going to look at today we just need to jump back in time a few days to when it was filmed. Yes, this is me from the past, hello. Now I know some of you guys out there with a keen eye will have noticed some new gadgets and gizmos appearing around the van which I haven't told you about. Well today we're going to be taking a look at this one. This is a sat-nav from Orex, it's the N76. Now this was sent to us to review and test and I've been testing it for the last couple of weeks and I have to admit it's really, really great for anyone with an oversized vehicle. So let's take a closer look. So first things first, when I turn the ignition, it comes to life. Orex, there you go. And rather quickly, it boots up its little display. So this is one of the main reasons I was wanting a sat-nav like this. All sat-navs are very much the same and everyone uses them. You'll all understand how they work, I'm sure, by now. But this one's a little bit different. It's designed for trucks and obviously motorhomes and bigger vehicles. So what I'm able to do is, as you can see here, I added Sprinter, which I've just named that myself. We're in kilometres because I'm preparing us for Europe. And um, we're able to set the size of the vehicle, you see. The length, the width, the height. We can also add the weight, two axles, and any freight. Now I've put that we've got, you see I can click on here, and you can click anything that you might be carrying on board. I've put, um, oops, I had to click that by mistake. I've put flammable gas, because we do have an LPG tank now. So once that's done, we can go back, click done, and we've got our destination, route options, and more there. The map, as you can see, is a standard sat-nav style map. It works perfectly. I'd say it's a little bit clunky compared to some when you're used to using Google Maps, but Google Maps will take you down roads where you don't want to be uh, in such a big van. So then we can click on destination. Now we can click in the search. It always wants to know what area it's searching in, but we can be quite vague and we can just put say, France, there we go. Now it knows we're hunting in France. Let's just put, oh, Paris, hey? And then that's going to give us a bunch of results. Uh, it's finding lots and lots of things with Paris in the name. Let's hit that one. All right, this is a random street in Paris. If I hit go, it's double checking my vehicle. Yep, that's the vehicle we're going in. That's my tonnage, that's my size, okay. And it's planning out the route. So straight away that's showing us that we've got some restrictions where we're gonna be going, but I'm gonna accept it anyway. And there we go, that shows us our route. And as you can see here, oops, it's moved on. So what I can do is go back over here, go to the route options, and we can have a look here and it's showing that we're going to be on motorways. We're going to be on toll roads. I don't know if you can see there. It's got a little dollar sign. That is the uh, Eurostar tunnel that there's, re whoops, I didn't mean to press that. Uh, there's restrictions, there's tolls, and we're in sort of like a truck. So we can bring the map back up and we can set off on our journey. Uh, it's just like any other sat nav, you're able to um, change your route for economical, for fast. Uh, you can you put avoidances in because of the vehicle you're driving. But uh, some of the highlights, which I'm going to take you for a little drive now and show you, are the reasons that I have always wanted a sat nav like this and why I'm going to be keeping this one and using it in the van while we go away. So once upon a time, a very long time ago, when my mum was still with us, she used to own a motorhome and it was a little bit longer than this van and a little bit wider. And we took it to France and we traveled all over the place. And it did used to take us with Google Maps down some roads that weren't ideal sometimes. In fact, we had a little scrape with another car once, which was not great because the road was just so thin. He was impatient and he wouldn't let us back out of the way and he just pushed through. But another one I do remember is we went down a little road in a village where the you know, houses are right up the side and we got to the end and there was a railway bridge and there was no way the van would fit underneath it. We were stuck and we couldn't turn. It was too small to turn. So I had to try and slowly reverse up to the nearest place where I might be at a turn. And we had the French locals out everywhere trying to help us and so we didn't scrape their houses. And it was quite, you know, it's one of them embarrassing and annoying situations. Now, if I'd had a sat nav like this, 
it would never have taken us down that road in the first place. So that is why I wanted something like this. So I'm very, very happy that Orex reached out to us at the right time because I was wanting to get something like this, but I don't have infinite money and there's only so much I can afford to do on this van. So when a company like that reaches out to you, it's like, yes, thank you very much. I will test that for you and I'm keeping it. That's a beauty. I'm going to use it in the van, uh, but I'm going to take you out for a little drive now and I'm going to show you what it can do. Right, we are in my local town and we are going to head down towards a very small bridge and I'm going to show you what it does. It's my, lo right. it's my local town, so I know this bridge and I know I can squeeze over it. But with the dimensions I put into the sat nav, you watch what it does. Calculating route. There you go, it's giving me a warning saying do not go down here. Do not go down. I'm going to hit the dismiss button because I know I can just squeeze in this van. But if I was somewhere else, I would not chance it, you know, you just wouldn't chance it. But I've been over this bridge a hundred times, so I know it very, very well. You can see that car up ahead. I think you can just make it out squeezing through the barriers there. Someone letting me through. So yeah, this is as tight as it gets for a van like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah, if I was in a different country, in a place I didn't know, I would not chance it. If that warning come up, I would turn around straight away because it's not worth risking the van for me. It's only because I know that bridge really well and I know I can make it. Uh, I've obviously over-exaggerated the dimensions I put into the sat-nav just to be safe. Right, we're back uh, at my house again now in the pouring rain and uh, I trust you learned something there. That is the main reason I've wanted one of these sat navs is because of the size of the vehicle and being able to program it in so it's perfect for motorhomes, large camper vans and trucks obviously. A couple of other little extras it has here for when we're traveling which is very handy in this more section you've got a music player and a picture viewer I wouldn't use those on a sat nav personally. Uh, a unit converter so you can convert length, temperature, speed, um, whatever volume between different countries there is a clothing one believe it or not so i can go and have a look for let's say shoes for men i'm a size uh uk can we go across yep i'm a uk 11 so that tells me when we're in europe i'm a 45 fantastic handy little bits of information here and there we've got a calculator which is a useful thing to have i know we've all got them on our phones but this is a nice big display there always easy to find and um, country information so we can click on the uk it tells you the country code emergency numbers the speeds on motorways um is a visibility um vest required and so on and so forth okay and we go back uh, there's a trip monitor if you want you can record your trip and it will keep all the data the distance you traveled and the the route and everything and sunrise sunset fuel consumption all pretty good and handy stuff so there you go the rx n76 i think it's a fantastic little gadget i'm going to be keeping this one i'm going to be taking it all across europe with me and i'm sure it's going to be very very helpful if you want to lay your hands on one of these obviously there's a link in the description below and you can get a five percent discount with our discount code so uh yeah enjoy well i hope you all enjoyed that little review that's my first one so you know i'm going to get better as time goes on i really am honest with you that thing is great for the money it's so cheap compared to those out there on the market at the moment it's about 79 pounds obviously you can get the five percent discount click the link down below otherwise we're going to see you on saturday for the regular vlog so tune in then and we'll see you there bye bye